When it comes to heat pumps, there is a lot of misinformation. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some common myths about heat pumps. And at the end of this video, there'll be a link to another video that explains everything you need to know about heat pumps in 2023. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It takes a lot of effort and energy to put out videos like this and liking and subscribing is a free way you can support the channel. And also if you find this content helpful or have additional questions, post a comment in the comment section below. We try to put out as much content as possible and wanna answer common questions people have about topics like heat pumps and furnaces. So although we are busy fixing and installing furnaces and heat pumps, we definitely read the comments and put videos out accordingly. So let's start with the biggest heat pump myth and that is that heat pumps do not work well in cold weather. Now this could not be further from the truth. In fact, I have a heat pump at my house and I live at 8,000 feet in the Front Range Mountains of Colorado and it's a Daikin VRV Lightning heat pump and it has kept up on even the coldest nights of the year and so far the coldest night I've experienced is negative eight degrees Fahrenheit. But depending on the contractor you call, this is a very common myth that you will hear them say. Now this all comes down to making sure you are buying the right heat pump for your home and your climate. And the way you do this is by finding a contractor that knows what they're doing and is familiar with the newer models and technologies because the way you find out the specs on how your system will work is by making sure you check the rating plates and submittal sheets and the brochures for all of the equipment. And it's really not that complicated. Once you dig into the technical documentation, which is listed on most manufacturers' websites, it will have a piece of information that will tell you whether or not it will work in your climate. And that is what's called low ambient performance. Now, there are two low ambient performance numbers you wanna look at. And one is the lowest temperature that it will operate at 100% capacity. And the second is the absolute lowest temperature that the heat pump will work And this rating will normally mean the heat pump is running at 50 to 60 percent of its maximum capacity. Now another myth that you've probably heard is that heat pumps cost more to purchase. Now this one is actually partially true because it really depends upon the system you're installing and the system you're comparing it to. Although it's true that a heat pump is more expensive than a standard air conditioner, there are other considerations to take into account. Because the truth is that there are certain things that make a furnace more expensive to install. For example, having to run a gas line and exhaust piping. So oftentimes it comes down to a wash depending on what is in your home currently. It is, however, normally true that it is typically easiest and cheapest to replace your current system with something that's similar. And the reason is because, for example, if you already have a furnace, then you already have an exhaust, you already have combustion air, and you already have a gas line that is needed to replace it with another furnace. Now, there are some nuances to this, obviously, and we cover those in another video on our channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. But one of the biggest benefits of a heat pump is actually a myth about them as well. And that myth is that they cost more to run. Now, this could not be further from the truth, but there's a few ca caveats that we're going to explore and going to explain why this might sometimes be true. But before we get into that, let me explain why the cost is always actually technically the same. And what I'm talking about when I refer to the cost being the same, what I mean is that the net energy cost is the same. For example, if you have a home that requires 20,000 BTUs of heat per hour to stay warm when it is zero degrees outside, then it doesn't matter if a heat pump or a furnace is producing the heat. You will always need 20,000 BTUs of heat. Keep the home at the same temperature. But I know that's not what you're thinking, so I'll answer the question you probably have, which is which one is more expensive to run? And for this, we have to look at your utility bill. And the reason is because natural gas prices and electricity prices vary widely across the country. If you're in a state like Colorado, for example, where natural gas prices have been historically lower, then oftentimes a furnace makes more sense. However, anyone in Denver knows that in 2022, we had some of the highest natural gas bills we've ever seen because the price of natural gas more than doubled this last winter. Uh, but some of our heat pump customers actually enjoyed a $0 heating bill. And I'll explain that in part two of the cost question. Uh, and that is because they have solar panels that are able to offset their power consumption and therefore have no cost basis for running their heat pump because they are powering it with solar. Which brings me to my last point that you may have heard or the last myth that you may have 
heard, and that is that heat pumps are noisy. Now, this actually couldn't be further from the truth, although some heat pumps, typically the older single stage heat pumps, might be noisier than their gas furnace counterparts. They are no noisier than a traditional air conditioner. And the truth is that most heat pumps that make sense to install in high efficiency heat pumps are drastically quieter than most furnaces. For example, any Mitsubishi inverter heat pump or Daikin Fit or Daikin VRV light heat pump, for example, are extremely quiet. In fact, they are so quiet that oftentimes you can't even hear them running when you're standing 10 or 15 feet away. And this is because inverters ramp up and down so slowly. And as a result, you don't get that loud jarring sound of a traditional compressor kicking on. And there's actually one more myth I wanna to touch on quickly, but before we do that, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and post a comment in the comment section below, letting us know what you think and what other questions you have. And if you happen to be in one of the markets we serve in Colorado, Arizona, or Texas, click the link below where you can actually book a free consultation with one of our tech technicians, or you can also just request more information if you'd like to schedule a time to chat with one of our technicians and get some questions answered over the phone. We're here to help and we specialize in residential heating and cooling and want to make sure you get the best HVAC for your particular situation and for your home. And on that note, the last and final myth I'll touch on is that heat pumps only heat and that's actually not true at all. In fact, all a heat pump is is an air conditioner with a reversing valve and I'm not going to go into that in this video for more information on how heat pump works, make sure you watch this next video where I break down in an easy to simple understand way. And again, if you'd like to schedule an in-home consultation, click the link below or the link in the description and you'll be able to schedule some time to chat with one of our technicians and get any questions you might have answered.